Universities played a very important role in the revolution and in the social change that has already taken place in, uh, in the Arab world, in Egypt, in Tunisia and other countries. Uh, but there are also some, cha cha some challenges like um, uh, quality of education and I think this is the major uh, uh, challenge that is facing education and universities in the Arab world. Uh, because. Um, while millions have access to education, very, very few have access to quality education. And without quality education, you can't really have leaders or um, uh, people who, who know actually how to, to deal with this very critical transitional phase that the Arab world is going through. So I think one of the most important things is uh, to having a political will that is willing to support quality education and grant quality education to uh, university students. Um, cooperation with the European and uh, international actors comes after that, after the political will and after the, the urge to, ha to, to develop education, comes then the, the cooperation with international actors. Um, and I think with those two things together, sustainability could be attained and universities, the, the role of universities will be um, achieved in the future. I think Arab countries and Arabs don't want Western countries to tell them what to do. But I think universities in Europe can help Arab universities to develop more. And this is very important because education is really the key to everything in terms of improving um, uh, the, the situation uh, of, of Arab people and of Arab citizens. Without having a good education, there's no way to, good, to get a good job. And I think Europeans and Arabs need to work together to improve their um, way of life together. I mean, uh, of course, there are people who say that the influence of Muslim Islamist forces is not so positive for the educational field. And I think this is really a, a challenge, whether these Islamist forces want to develop their countries or whether they want to go back in time and history. This is one of the ch many challenges uh, Arab people face. And uh, I, I, I think there are so many struggles that the Arab world still needs to face because the old forces don't want to give up power. So many problems, but it's worth the struggle.